So I'm getting those same people who stabbed you in the back and left you for dead. <laughs> God is telling me they were expecting to go back to wherever they left you at. With this Ace of Pentacles after you've been stabbed in the back, Ten of Swords. And they would somehow revive you, bring life back into you, and expect you to be nothing but bones on that ground when they got there. But that did not happen. And so now. They want to apologize to you. They want to find a way to get back in your good graces. But they know you're not going for it. So that's their dilemma right now. Today, <laughs> that's their dilemma. And, um... You just sit here, wishes fulfilled, successfully closing out cycles, successfully beginning new cycles, moving forward to calmer waters, celebrating, you know, ancestors, God celebrating you, giving you recognition. You have all the truth and clarity you need going into the new year. And these people see that and they know that. Even if they don't, they're not around you. Even if you have moved out the state like me. The fact that you have not returned and it's been a year. Thank you, God, for that. And the fact that you are actually... Still not calling anybody. They know you're good. They know. <laughs> they don't even got to follow you on your social media. They know. Nah. Like for me, last person I spoke to was my mom and one one uh, person from Georgia King Village where I grew up at. And... I cut my mom's off too. Like, listen, it's 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 been enough, you know. It's been enough. Uh, enough of this. Uh, <laughs> trying to balance this out with you. I am seeing that it was never. A family unit in the first place you know it was always toxic you know and after I had my children I built my own family and I realized life is not like what I experienced and I don't want mine to experience what I experienced second-handedly or, you know, you know, because, you know, toxicity spreads. So I don't want that toxic energy around my kids. Uh -uh. So I let that go. And then the person that I spoke to from where I used to live at, she was friends with my mom. She telling me my mom came over there. Well, she like, guess who I saw today, you know? Nah, my mom know what she be doing. Sitting outside at the bus stop, uh, outside the building. It's like, come on now, you know you know she be here. You know she don't be out nowhere else. She be right here in the hood at the, at the buildings, you know? <laughs> so she ended up chilling with her for a few hours and was talking about me and how I won't talk to her, and I'm just like, bruh, and, and damn near in tears, making my motherfucking nigga feel bad for her, and trying to convince me to talk to her, come 
come for Thanksgiving, come home for Thanksgiving, and uh, my birthday coming up. Motherfuckers want to come visit. I'm not. No. When I said I'm not fucking with her, I'm not fucking with her no more. And then when I told her, like, bro, Shorty, Shorty has done some crazy things to me. I mean, the things that she knows my mom did when I was growing up, you know, she she already know that part. She told my mom about herself, about that part. She, like, I already saw, you know, how you was with Whitney. My name Whitney. <laughs> It's like, I know how you was with Whitney or whatever. And the way you treated Ashley and Savoya, which is my sisters. And she like, it wasn't right. And you got this girl out here with her two kids, your grandkids. You don't never get them kids. You don't never be around her. You ain't never support her. Like she really went in on my mom. My mom felt some type of way about that. Ended up um, trying to leave, but then she had asked my mom for my number. My mom wouldn't give it to her. And so she was like, well, call her and ask her if it's okay for me to have her number. And that was how I ended up, you know, saying, yeah, give her my number. And we had that talk after my mom left and shit. And I'm just like, yo, this is, I, I don't understand. This is why I don't fuck with people because they go behind my back and be trying to lie to people, trying to make me look crazy, trying to like, make me look bad like I'm some disrespectful ass child, bitch. Bro, you stole from me, bro. You stole money from me and my kids. You, you done kicked us out. You kicked us out because you wanted my first check when I was trying to start over after leaving a DV situation. I lived with you long enough to get one paycheck from this job. You wanted my motherfucking check it because I wouldn't give it to you. And I gave you the food stamps because I wouldn't give it to you. You told me I had to get the fuck out. And when you came home, what you do? Made sure I got the fuck out. It what, what my sister do? Both of them. Still there laughing, watching me and my two kids drag all our stuff out of her house and had nowhere to go. But all I did was go ahead, take my motherfucking check. Go get me a nice little hotel right next to my job and start taking my kids to school from a motherfucking hotel. I don't give a fuck. Bye. And you wonder why I don't fuck with you. Then you told me you was going to help me when I got injured at work. And what you do? Claim me and my kids on the taxi said you was going to give it to me and you kept it. Then stimulus came out. That was back then when all that was going on. And you, you stole my stimulus too. Both times. Like, I had to report you to the IRS. Like, bitch, you wild. <laughs> and this is why I don't fuck with her. And this is why now everybody got to know why I don't fuck with her. Because she be going around doing shit like this. And got people looking at me like I'm the fucking weirdo. And they, and they know I'm not. So they asking me, like, what's good? What's going on? Now I got to tell them. Because you out here wilding. So anyway... Mm, the things that are closing out this year, it, I'm so thankful for because it took a year for me to get right back on my feet. And <laughs> I'm just thankful for that because now I'm away from all that energy. And this is me closing out all them cycles. Sis, don't try to talk to me. Ashley, don't try to talk to me. Um... Sequoia, I'm good too. I'm good on um, all y'all. My Kana, I'm good on all y'all. Jay, I'm good on all y'all. C's, I'm good on all y'all. Yeah, good on all y'all. And um, definitely my sister, since you had sex with both of my baby dads. Yeah, because I left the first one because the dumb shit he was doing with her. Then the second one, dumb shit he doing with her and other bitches and friends like. It's like, it seems like every time I get somebody, she want to put her shit on it too. She need to touch it too. She need to experience it too. She mad because she asked the first one to leave me and he wouldn't when she got pregnant. Had to get abortion. He took her to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I still left him. I'm not fucking with y'all like that. Y'all all dirty as hell. Fucked up. I would never do none shit like that to nobody. Not at all. 
family, my, my mom and her fucking, her sister. Mm-mm-mm. With the spell work that my aunt be doing on people and my mom be doing on people. See, I used to know when I was younger, I said, yeah, it's some witches in this family because it ain't no way. The things that I be seeing, and, mm-mm, mm-mm. Hearing about, mm-mm. Bodies buried under concrete and, and people houses. Gotta dig it up before they sell houses. Like, yeah, wild ass shit I was hearing as a kid. That's why they didn't fucking like me. Because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing y'all having conversations in my dreams. And I'm talking to y'all about it. You, you, you think I'm fucking, you trying to make me crazy. Make y'all be crazy. And then I end up seeing it in person. I'm watching y'all. And it, 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 it's weird, yo. <sighs> it's weird. I'm just glad that I am no longer around that energy where people are <laughs> trying to gaslight you when you know what the fuck is going on. They don't want you to know what's going on. I know um, I told this story before, but I'm gonna mention it now too, because my cousin's husband came to me in a dream too. And he, we in a dream sitting on the couch. He come up to, and, and, and I'm in a dream. I just wake up in a dream sitting on the couch like with him. I'm like, oh, hey, what up, right? What's good? So he like, yeah, I want to tell you, you know, what happened or whatever. So I'm talking to him or whatever. I know what he mean because he did. So he trying to tell me what happened. So it was him and my aunt. They had an argument when my aunt went to visit them in North Carolina after he got out of jail and married my cousin. My I never liked him since I think my cousin was twelve when she met him and he was like fourteen. And they've been together ever since. He was her first, that's her first uh baby dad and everything, like her first husband, all that. You feel me? They was really in love. My I hated that shit. And she always tried to break them up and tear it up. So she ended up doing her little witchcraft shit and she summoned some demons. And the two dudes that he went to buy weed for one day after they had an argument and she went back to Jersey. He went to buy some weed and it's weird to me because she thinks she fucking slick. So he goes to buy some weed and the two dudes that he was buying the weed from, their bodies had already been snatched by the demons that she had sent, that she conjured up and sent into those bodies. And it's like, they ended up robbing him and killing him. And then when you watch the the YouTube video of the, the trial, and my cousin is yelling at the dudes, and the dudes is looking lost as hell. They don't even know how they ended up where they was at. It's the witchcraft shit. Body got snatched. You did a fucking murder for somebody else you don't even fucking know. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Now you're in jail. And, and the only reason why the shit was able to take over their fucking body like that is not only because she was doing witchcraft. I don't know what, what her level of witchcraft is, but... Um, she was able to do that. And I feel like it's really the young boys that be popping pills, drinking lean, smoking all this and that. They be doing too much. So now your body is just being used as a vessel for all of those demonic energies that live and harvest on that type of stuff. And then when they do what they do with your body and they leave you to deal with those consequences, which is those guys who went to jail for a murder, then they wake up and realize, whoa, some shit don't really went down fucked and they don't even know how. You should have seen the shock on these niggas' faces. They couldn't believe it. It wasn't the, it wasn't the expressions of a, a cohort of murderer. It was... The expressions of some young boys that didn't know what the fuck happened the night before. <laughs> How did I end up here? So y'all just be careful. And and be aware of shit like that. The shit is, is real. And I told my mother that I knew about it. My aunt know that I know about all of the shit she be doing. Yeah, she told me she felt like she was cursed. And she's the demons, the, the spawn of the devil. Because she's born on the 6th. But that's her own reality that she built. And then she became that character. So be careful what you speak over your life, guys. I'm closing out these cycles with these people. And, and everything that I ever spoke over my life has turned out to be exactly what I wanted it to be. Beautiful, refreshing, free. Um, I, I don't have any issues with 
leaving people like this. I have my grandmother with me who died of the suspicious death. They took her uh, little money. I asked my mom, how much did they get? I asked my mom who was with my grandmother when she supposedly was found dead. Yeah, it was my aunt, the same one who's doing his other shit. <laughs> then my other aunt died, the youngest one that they always treated bad, the black sheep, um, because they have a color complex and she was the darkest one the darkest toned one, beautiful. I loved her, she's very sweet. She even comes to see me as well. She died while I was pregnant with my oldest son. Her name is Sadia. I love her. Thank you, Auntie D, for being with me through this journey too. And the reason why my grandma and my aunt is around me like this is because these motherfuckers is mad that I know the shit that I know, that I got the gifts that I got, that I speak the way that I speak and that I don't give a fuck. And I'll say it to anybody. And I'll say it to their face. And they know that shit. They don't like it. They don't like me. And I don't give a fuck either. Please, YouTube, don't, don't be mad at me for the cursing. I'm sorry. It's just that these things that people do, it's, it's messed up. It's frustrating. It's annoying. And it's like, sometimes the best way for you to express yourself is to just go ahead and be free with it. Don't. Don't hold back, say what you need to say, because then you'll be able to let it go and really be able to move on. Like, And that's what I'm on. Like, I'm closing out the year, I'm airing out everything, cleaning out my closet. Last night, listening to Eminem. Yeah, not playing these games. 2024, <laughs> please. You ain't got a chance, baby. You don't got a chance in 2023 either. So yeah, Ben didn't have a chance. I got a whole roller suitcase full of composition notebooks, poetry, and, and experiences. And when I put this book together about all of this, you're going to really, really, really miss me. Because <laughs> I'm going to be gone. Best believe. And just found out today. And you know what? It ain't even just found out today. My son came to me today, right? It reminded me of something that I knew when I was a kid. And it just, I told my son, I said, I didn't even know that. And then I thought about it. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. It's bringing me back to my inner child. Ooh, somebody tried to block me from talking, bitch. Ain't no frog in my throat, ho. Anyway. And when I was little, I found out that let me see where my other phone at yeah i found out that um january 7th let me read it to you it says the gospel of saint matthew in the bible claims jesus was born during herod the great reign herod who was a king of judea died in 4 bce Many Christians celebrate Jesus' birthday on December 25th, but there are some who still hold the tradition by observing the date on January 7th. That's my birthday. So when I died and came back, it's symbolic to Jesus. I cannot, I would have never, I, as an adult, I did not remember that. My son told me this today. He said, Ma, guess what I found out? I'm like, what? And then I Googled it. I'm like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, facts. And I said, I had to ask God, why did you have me bring this up to my, you know, awareness today? And then he got, I pulled cards, he's got the world, the star, the six of swords, the six of wands, and the ace of swords. And this is why I cry, the way I cried that day. Because the way God be telling me and loving on me and showing me and protecting me and guiding me is telling me, showing me who I am and how Oh my God, how he created me specifically told me my name is Seven. But then we came up with a name together. And 
Eris was the name we came up with together. And Eris means messages in the wind. Eris also means these messages are coming from the child of God, the heir. And that's because I'm a messenger for God, of course. And that one seven, <laughs> whew. Mm -mm -mm. One and seven is eight, that's abundance, that's eternity, that's affinity, that's, I mean, I just love you, God. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad that my season is here. Happy Capricorn season, you guys. Tis the season. <laughs>